This is GCTV. It is Tuesday, October 13th, 2020. Good afternoon, GC. I'm Carrie Cabot. And I'm Christina Belt. In your world headlines this morning, Johnson & Johnson has booked clinical trials for a COVID-19 vaccine after one of their patients got sick. The test is in final testing stages. They didn't specify what the patient is sick with, but pauses like this are not unheard of. It will more than likely begin again soon. Kentucky Governor Andy Beshear says he and his family are doing well in quarantine. He provided that update Monday afternoon. The governor says they were potentially exposed to the COVID-19 virus on Saturday. The family is being tested regularly, and luckily nobody has tested positive so far. We could get our first glimpse at the newest iPhone today. Apple is holding a virtual event stream from their website. The rumored iPhone 12 is expected to launch with 5G capabilities and will likely come with more than a $1,000 price tag. Do you need a flu shot? Lawrence Hospital is partnering with the Purchase District Health Department to offer free flu shots on Saturday, October 24th. It's happening at the McCracken County Public Library. Free COVID testing will also be available. School pictures will be taken starting tomorrow. It's happening Wednesday and Thursday of this week, so make sure to look your best. Empower Club is meeting this Thursday after school. Miss Peebles and Miss Jones are the club's sponsors. Empower Club is all about supporting each other and promoting healthy lifestyles that don't include drugs and alcohol. The meeting starts at 3.15 Thursday afternoon. The candidates running for the student position of Graves County Board of Education want your support. Four candidates are running for the position this year, and each of them recorded a short video explaining why they believe they deserve your vote. Hey, GC. My name is Devin Cope, and I'm running to be the voice of students as a student representative on the Grace County Board of Education. As you view the videos for the other candidates, you will hear them list off their role in the 792 different clubs that they are in. I believe that this could be distracted for these candidates, not fully allowing themselves to participate as a student representative. Throughout my time as an Eagle, I have been selected to attend events such as Hugh O'Brien Youth Leadership Program, Commonwealth Honors Academy, and the Governor's Scholars Program on behalf of Grace County. I have also been involved in GCTV since sophomore year, using my voice to share news for the students. So when the time comes to place your vote for the student representative, I ask for your vote to allow me to be a voice of the students. Hey GC, I'm Taylor Flowers, and I'm running for the 2020 2021 student member of the Graves County Board of Education. I want to be your voice. I want to improve communication and understanding of what matters to you. I'm currently the president of the Graves County Chamber Orchestra. I am also the president of HSA or Hope Student Ambassadors. I serve on the youth leadership and I love spending my time volunteering at local charities. Thank you for trusting me to be your voice, and I appreciate your vote. My name is John Henternish, and I'm running for office as your representative to the Graves County Board of Education. The main reason that I'm running this year is because well, I'm eligible, and I'm a calm, level-headed negotiator that'll be able to get the job done and explain our side of things and our point of view on various issues that they bring up. Uh, the only real policy positions I have are no more gigantic, overpriced plastic slides and fix the technology department. What I mean by that last one is uh, we use Schoology. Schoology costs a lot more money than it's worth. It's just a worse version of Google Classroom that we have to pay for. I think that's ridiculous. Uh, yeah, that's why you should vote for me. Hey, GC, it's me, Zachary Lamb, and I'm excited to be on the ballot this year for your student representative to the Board of Education. Since my freshman year, I've been deeply involved with the high school community and contribute to many clubs and organizations that we have. To name a few being academic team, drama club, chess club, forensics team, the youth leadership team, musical theater, the choirs, and also I spent time working on the climate, culture, and environment subcommittee for our site-based decision-making committee. All this is done out of love for the GCHS community and the time that I spent is time that I will always cherish. That's also what motivates me to become your student representative. I wanna be a voice for the students of GCHS. 
and be able to represent them no matter where they are on their educational journey. So GC, in the coming weeks, as we prepare to vote for our student representative, please remember me, Zachary Lamb, and help me get the chance to work for you on the student, as the student representative on the Board of Education. Coming up, our sports update with John Ben Brown. Also, birthdays, weather, and more. GCTV will be right back. three-day forecast. Hey GC, tonight our volleyball team will play Ballard County at home. JV will start at 5.30 and varsity will follow. Come out and support your Eagles. That's all for your Eagle Sports Action for GCTV Sports. I'm John Ben Brown. Thanks John Ben. That's all for today's GCTV. I'm Carrie Cavett. And I'm Christina Bell. Have a great day GC and we'll see you back here tomorrow.